Our today's topic is rationalization of denominator. Rationalization of denominator. Why we rationalize the denominator and what is the process of rationalizing the denominator? So before that, you know that what is a irrational number? Irrational number is a number whose decimal is neither terminating nor repeating. A number whose decimal is neither terminating nor repeating is called irrational number. For example, root three, root five, root seven, root eight. Number which is not a perfect square number comes under irrational number. So we need to rationalize the denominator if the denominator is a in is an irrational number. When the denominator is irrational number, then only we have to rationalize the denominator. So rationalization, rationalization is the process. Rationalization is the process to convert the denominator as rational, irrational denominator as rational number by multiplying and dividing by a suitable number. Rationalization, rationalization is the process by which we convert the irrational uh, denominator as rational by multiplying or dividing by a suitable number and that suitable number is called rationalizing factor so the rationalizing if a number is root 2 suppose we have a number root 2 in denominator 1 by 2 so root 2 is an irrational number 1 by 2 is a number whose denominator is root 2 so here the denominator is irrational number then we have to make rational denominator only by rationalizing the denominator and the process by which we change yeah, we convert the irrational decimal as rational by multiplying or dividing a suitable number by suitable number it means by which number we multiply by 2 so that we get a rational number so in fact obviously we multiply it by root 2 multiply and divide by root 2 so because square root of h square root of square root to multiply by square root of x gets x so obviously root 2 multiply and divide by root 2 then we get root 2 by 2 that 2 is a That's why we need to rationalize the denominator to make the division division possible. So to make the division possible, we rationalize the denominator. And the rationalizing factor when the multiplication of two irrational number is rational, when the multiplication of two rational number is two irrational number is rational, then the each one is the rationalizing factor of So for example see here 1 by root 7 here only one term is in denominator 1 by root 7 so that we the, we need to um, find out the rationalizing factor of root 7 so 1 by root 7 denominator is root 7 its suitable number is rationalizing factor and the rationalizing factor is root 7 by root 7 So by multiplying root seven, by dividing root seven, we get root seven by seven. Now this root seven becomes to seven. Root seven is an irrational number, and seven is rational. So now denominator converts irrational denominator converts into rational. See another example. One by two plus root three. Now here in denominator we have two terms. Before that we have only one term. Now we have two terms, two plus root three. So its rationalizing factor will be. Remember, if a number is a plus root b, its rationalizing factor will be a minus root b. If a number is root a minus root b, its rationalizing factor will be a plus root a plus root b. If a number Like that, root a plus b is rationalizing factor will be root a minus b. So here we have 